duties do to the small boys. <laughs> you get me? That's unfollowed them. You get me? My good friend. Yeah, his name's called Richard Essien, aka Magical Bones. Welcome, sir. How you doing? How you doing, Jay? Good to see you, brother. Good Long to see time. You. Yes, man. Thank you for having me. Still. I've, I've still seen that you're pop locking, you're break dancing, and All you're flicking day. out your cards and doing tricks. All day, man. That's that's my heart. I have to dance. I have to, mm. I have to be who I am. So I've been doing that from when I was a kid. So it's all part of um the magic i do yeah and yeah thank you for having me on here man it's a long time since i seen you so that's what i'm saying my, my hair's grown more yeah but your hair has grown man. <laughs> it's, it's long now Still, you're getting my, my hair's grown. Yeah, yeah man it, it, it's, it's getting there so so what have you been up to since i last uh spoke to you i last seen you about over three about four years ago now? yeah it was like four years ago still um a lot <laughs> there's a lot been going on a lot been mm. happening Obviously, when I spoke to you four years ago, I was still kind of like building um, what I do, which is, um, you know, magic um, mm -hmm. incorporated with my influences yes. as a dancer, which is hip hop and break dancing and music and stuff. So I've been building on that and it's been quite successful. You know, I've had TV shows that's come out, um, you know, I've, I've been in or I am still in one of the biggest illusion shows mm -hmm. in the world. And I've toured around the world with that show. I've had my own one-man show that I've been putting out in London. Um, you know, I've done the BAFTA Awards, which is quite a bit of a big deal for me, closing that ceremony. Um, and now I've just finished shooting the first episode of my own TV show, which is uh, produced by me. Um, so I'm just in post-production for that. Mm. So that will be coming out soon. So yeah, check that out because because um far as I remember, it's like you um as a young child, you was very highly inspired by Paul Daniels. Yeah, yeah, Paul Daniels. Well, I wouldn't say I was inspired by Paul Daniels, but Paul mm. Daniels is a in in as a magician was a, is a kind of a was a, a legend in the game. Yes, and um you know. I got one of them little magic sets when I was a youth, so... Did it with you, man? Like, I, I remember I wanted one of those, but I was like, oh, what the hell I'm doing? I ended up, <laughs> that ended up getting... I don't know where that went. Yeah, no, no, I had one. And now, my drama teacher was a magician, so he encouraged us to do, like, magic in, in like, the talent shows and stuff. So that's how I kept that up as a hobby um, all the way through. So if it wasn't because of your teacher... Probably, yeah. Probably if it wasn't my teacher. I don't think I would have kept that up. It would just been one of them hobbies that you just do and then just, like forget about it but he kind of encouraged a few of us to keep doing it um and that's how i am able to have the skills to so do it now. so when did you first find yourself as a dancer uh, and um, why did you mix it with why do you thought to yourself do you know what let me mix my dancing with magic uh well i've been dancing from 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 a youth like in the in, in the living room Mm. Watching them Michael Jackson videos, <laughs> chopping out the moves, the moonwalk on them thing there. Um, but I was a professional dancer. So I started doing that like around university times, college times. I started doing like music videos, yeah. um, you know, like competitions, uh, tours, like different sort of things. And it just, I was, I was good at it. So, you know, I did quite well in that industry. Mm -hmm. um, but as an artist, I just wanted to evolve. And, you know, I started that um incorporating other skills into art and just being creative you know so yeah it's just a natural progression into what i'm doing now and you're a niger man yeah my walati nigeria yeah cheese yeah. yoruba boy now shout out to all the yoruba kings and queens out there yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. a lot of them must be thinking ah are you doing juju <laughs> 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 what's, what's this type of juju <laughs> stay Yo. away from me <laughs> yeah like people don't really are the people it's hard even my mom says the same thing she's like ah no please don't no don't do that nonsense in this house like <laughs> she don't get it like but it's fun you know it's it's entertainment um and it's 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 a lot of misconceptions with like what people perceive as mm. magic and juju and etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm. but it's entertainment man you know well at least you, at least you won't be broke you just you could just create something and Get some paper, go yeah, you know, got made 20 pounds in your pocket, there like, you yeah, man, like, like I'm not broke. <laughs> you get me? Does you, when you, so, how is it when you have ever, if you are dating anyone or if you're in a relationship or you're not, how is it for you, like, when you're going out on dates with a woman? Does does she know 
that you're a magician or she doesn't know or do you do you bust some tricks at the at the dinner table in that restaurant do you know what like my missus i've got missus we've got mm. a beautiful son oh. um she is like part of my tribe like she she she's magic herself um, wow so she um she loves seeing the magic i do and she loves supporting it um so i don't really need to do anything to like impress her yes you know like we just we club we worked together like we just did an illusion at the carnival where we made a carnival float appear um and she was so you definitely come like like a Paul Daniels and when yeah, we had the wife we're playing games out here man it's it's real so. that, that's good that you are you training your is it you've got a son you said yeah my son my son's only is is turning one on Thursday ah, so happy birthday to your son yeah so is he are you gonna pass on your knowledge to your son at a pop lock and break dance and He's got no choice, man. His mum's a dancer. His dad's a dancer. So he runs so, in the family. So he runs in the blood. Be, he's already like rolling about on the floor doing the madness. So, yeah, it's it's, it's gonna happen. Naturally. So so you got you, you got your show. Um, not talking about the your old one man show type of thing, but I'm talking about with the collective. Oh, the the impossible. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I see that. I see that online a lot. I saw a lot of stuff. Like, how did you get a, get to be a part of that? Um, I got to be a part of that show because I had my uh, one man show on in uh, the South Bank Festival, right? Um, um, underbelly, and the producers of that show came to see me perform, and they invited me to be one of the magicians in in that show, which was a West End show, and it was the first time a magic show had come to the West End in a hundred years. Wow! So it was a big deal, um, and I was one of the six magicians chosen. I was a street guy doing the street magic thing and that show did really well and we've just been touring around the globe with it like you know from from uh egypt to not egypt sorry from dubai to uh the philippines to singapore mm. um malaysia it's it's gone it's done really well so um, it's been the the craziest reactions in those countries um we've had i mean we get we, we generally get good reactions everywhere we go i mean philippines was like we were in um, the Araneta um, Coliseum, which is where the Thriller in Manila was. Right, where, yeah, where yeah, Muhammad yeah, Ali. Yeah, yeah. So that was like fourteen thousand people performing over, performing in front of, and um, yeah, they were they gave some crazy reactions. Still, I can't lie. Um, wow, I felt like a superstar. <laughs> you just came up from uh, New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was at in New York still. Um, I was doing some uh, big private event out there. Um, so they flew me in to show some stuff mm -hmm. um, and that was good fun man I was out there for a little bit and I, I want to come back out there yeah to do um, some public shows right so so you future. never made um, Liberty statue disappear because I, I was looking online about um, magic tricks and and stuff like that well I wasn't looking online it just came in my suggestions and it was showing about um, the guy who David made Copperfield is that it made yeah. it disappear and it's shown you and and basically you sh it showed you the blind eye of it like when people thought that right it's really disappeared but he never he just put some like blank screens oh, and you were looking at the secrets we, oh, <laughs> man. come on man he thinks he's been taken offline it's, it's also on. you know, they put it on youtube it's not my fault yeah, put, it's not yeah. my fault you get what man, i'm saying man, it's man. not but i'm sorry man, man. Man. don't blame me Them don't shoot the, don't shoot the mes messenger as they say <laughs> you get what i'm saying but like i was i was so i was so as, yeah, basically, as what you said, they revealed how it's done. But the main thing is, you know, when you go down, um, what's it called? Uh, is it Tavago Square? Tavago. Uh, uh, what you mean, Times Square? No, no, Tavago Square in London, or is oh, yeah. it uh, um, around that area when they when you see those guys um, elevating on okay. one hand or one foot yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that? They, they, there was showing how they do it and and whatnot i was like that's crazy yeah it's, it's interesting when you find out how some tricks uh work out because then sometimes you can appreciate like right like there's a there's, mm. there's a lot that goes into this it's not just it's know, a lot just, of practice it's a lot of practice right yeah so it does to get something done so perfect and in perfection yeah 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 no absolutely there is um a lot involved in that it's not just as simple as just like just watching a YouTube tutorial and then just thinking, yeah, boom, I'm a magician. I'm David yeah. Blaine. I'm going to walk down the streets and do madness. No, 
um, you have to, it's like anything, you know, you mm. have to discipline yourself and work at it. And so what, so what's next for you? Um, like I said, at the moment, um, you know, I'm working on some TV projects um, and developing the one man stage show, mm. uh, which is called Black Magic. Um, Out of all names. Yeah, you got a, you got a, you got a rep, man. It's black. Black is beautiful right now. So black is magic. So I'm pushing that narrative. I'm mm. not trying to put black on any negative narratives. Yeah. So, so, you know, the, the show is an interesting show because the end of the show, I talk about, um, for me, the greatest um, escape artist of all time. And it's not Houdini. Uh, it's a guy called Henry Box Brown. And he was an African slave. Wow. From, um, oh, African-American slave, I should say. Um, but still is African. Mm. Um, and he escaped from freedom um, by mailing himself in a box um, <laughs> from one wow. state of America to Freetown. And he's actually... How I mean, did he survive? Like, did he it's an amazing holes story. There? No, there's no holes. Um, but he's the reason why we, you know, America has private mail. Um, but check out the story. Google him. It's, it's incredible what he did. Um, and he was a big advocate for, um, you know, freedom of slaves. Um, and he came to the UK mm. and toured his stage show uh, for 25 years. And, um, you know, he's, 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 he's a big deal. And this is like in the 1800s, like mm. so. You know. Pre, that's like. So I, I I pay tribute to him in in the stage show, yeah, um, because he was he's the first black, real legendary magician. So you're talking about that? Do you think do you think that you know some script writers might come and say I say to you, Magical Bob and Mister Richard Essien, we're doing a movie based on this guy. There needs to be a movie on it, man. And yeah, holla at me, man. I'll play that that main role. And there needs to be a film and more documentation of like black kind of you know heroes mm. uh who did amazing things and you know the more and more you research into history the more you learn about like right there was people doing crazy things exactly. in those days and um and as a magician i didn't even know like that you know there was another black hero mm. who did magic for a reason for like you know something powerful yes um I just thought, you know, you got your Houdinis and your David Blaine's, David Copperfield. And Houdini well, was doing those kind of things for, um, you know, just publicity. This guy was doing it, you know, for... To escape. Yeah, for a reason. To, for, to, for, for life. Yeah, like, so it's big. Wow. Wow. So what, you, you got anything that you want to show us tonight? I can show you a couple of bits. I wanted to show you... Um, you know, where, where, where's Ben's effects? Because he said he wanted to come and, and see you do his things. Are we going to get Ben's? Because I know because Ben's love my, my, my guy Ben's effects. He loves he loves magic and stuff like that. So well, I've got I've got my cards with me, so I can see the cameras here. So jeez, I'm gonna have to. All right, we got DJ Neptune just beside you, so I'm gonna have you, to perform to him. He's, yeah, he's from he's from Niger as well. Niger, not be Niger boy, so yeah, you can you can freak him out. So we, we we got we got Ben's effects inside the place. He, I, I know he's a big avid fan of 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 the magic and illusion. You get what I'm saying. So Ben's, if you want to go around that side, even sit on that chair, and and then you could you could see what's going on. You know what I mean? You know, I I I, I know the deal with this brother because I've seen the madness in my face four years ago. Four years ago. You get what I'm saying? Cool. All right. Let's let's do so. I'm gonna try and get something so the camera can see. I'm not sure if I should even just take this off is that cool or? uh yeah. can you take it off selector or that's all right we got we got the okay we got it we got it we got, we got it here let me just push back still so those of you who are watching right now make, make sure make sure, if you're listening make sure you go on the facebook um dj magic j just just to search that and then we will come up and you can watch what we're about but i'm going to be posting this on youtube tomorrow yeah still all right well i'm gonna um just show him a card trick and I'll explain that all these cards I'll show the camera they're all different um, and I want to show you a couple of the slides I do so I'm going to get you to take one card out mm -hmm. so just take one out but don't show me obviously okay. yeah don't show me yeah there you go take it out don't worry man it's not Juju or Obi man and I'm going to get um, <laughs> let's take one out mm -hmm. yeah and don't show me but show the camera I'll close no I'm not showing sure. We well, have to show the camera because the people at home won't be able to see the trick. So I'm just covering. I'm trying to turn this way. Cheese. Cheese. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Them Irene now, man. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's 
Yeah, we got it. 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 Yeah. Refresh. Refresh. Have you shown yours as well? Both. Both. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So you pop that here. Okay. And you pop that here as well. And you guys are up close and personal. You can see that's roughly about. I was about halfway down inside the deck here, give or take a few cards. Mm. All right, let's try this. We're gonna we're gonna freak out and select some, the album now. Some fancy stuff. What? This what? is the stuff that's. Look, I play poker, but I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you need to show me that. That's crazy. <laughs> you remember your card, though, yeah? I'll start with you. Just there. Uh, Cheese. Gunshot. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker as well. Hmm. And so that was your one. Actually, your one's going to be slightly different. Just touch that for a second. Yeah, there you go. Boom. But I'll, I'll show you guys this because I want to make this a little bit more impressive. I've got um, a pen here. And I'm just going to get both of you. Just you write your name there. You write your name there. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is because if usually when i do this trick people think like i have like duplicate cards or something but let me check the cards yeah you can check <laughs> yeah um but sure. but the most importantly the fact that dj neptune's written his name on this card here i'll show the camera that still uh let's get that yeah and you're gonna write your name uh -huh. it doesn't even matter you don't even need to check anything because you write your name here because uh -huh. even if i did have a duplicate card not gonna have one with their names on it and etc etc cool so check this out yeah here we go so i have this card and i'm going to put this roughly about can you see that's about it's about halfway down mm -hmm. can you see that yeah i won't do any funny moves S make sure the camera focuses on this because i want you to think i'm doing any funny moves that was in the middle i do that you see how it comes back to the top just like that just there Watch again one, one more time and w make sure the camera focuses on this because I don't want the camera to think I'm cheating. Focus mode, man. Yeah. You can see that there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's it's definitely in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. With your thumb, you're just going to push that inside. Make sure that's, just push that inside, yeah? yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's From what? Push the camera up and you can see. Pull it up. Up here. So you can see it comes up. Tom Rock's doing it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. One more thing, one more thing. Put your hand on top of my hand like that, like that, on top of the cards. Yeah, you put your hand on top as well, yeah? yeah. Forget about the rest of the cards. Just think of the ones you guys signed, yeah? Forget about the rest yeah, of the cards. Yeah. Push down, push down. Done. Lift your hands up. See how all the cards disappear. Oh, wait, hold on. Leaving sick, one sick, card. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Oh, okay. Can I can I ask yeah, you, can, you guys. Can, can I ask you one thing? Can you there's a trick what I what I saw done, yeah? Right, but I was like, no, nah, that's madness. Like, it happened to me once. It's to, it's to do with the card, like you put your initials on the card and, and then you do something and then it, then the then the initials pairs on your arm on your in your hand. Can you do that? Uh yeah, uh, yeah, and have to see what the trick is. But I don't really like doing other people's tricks. Like yeah. I like doing my own stuff, like so yeah. Like, you know, everyone, it's like music, in it, And, you know, mm -hmm. making, someone sings a song, you make the same song. Yeah. Uh, you got to do your own shit, so. Ben do you want to ask him a question? <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> you're trying to figure out. <laughs> 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 same, same, yeah. You know the one that, that last one there, where's yeah. the last one? <laughs> when you get home, just look underneath your pillow, innit? No, I ain't going to find it. It's like, if he sees that, it's like, nah, <laughs> that's nah, what nah, I'm saying, nah, that's nah, what I'm saying. <laughs> it might, it might be, it might be in your words. wallet. <laughs> it might be in your wallet, bro. <laughs> your bus pass <laughs> underneath, <laughs> underneath your, underneath can your. I, can I find it in my pocket? No, 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 no. Yo, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Wow. Oh, that was sick. Wow. Save, save, save. save. So yeah, man. Is there, is there any more tricks that you can do? That's one more, just to definitely blow his hat off. Um. <laughs> yeah, you kind of caught me off guard. Still. Um. That's good. Um, it's good to be in the deep end. I think I could. I didn't really bring anything else. Um, I'll tell you what. I will. Has anyone got like a, I don't know, like a 50 pence piece or something? Yeah. Maybe I'll do something with that. 
Uh, I. There you go. Alright. So this is this is a quick thing Can still. We look inside? Go on. That's what we like. This is just a quick thing because I I I didn't, I was kind of caught off guard with this, but it's good to be caught off guard. I'll show you something still. This is your coin, by the way, yeah. Yes, sir. So I don't want you to think this is like. No, it's only fifty p, bro. No, I just wanted to just not know trick coin, yeah. No, no, no I, I never went. I never went to Toys R Us. Alright, so check this out. <laughs> Usually, yeah, coins, yeah, they fall down, right? Mm. Yeah. And that's gravity. Right. Your coin, watch this. I'll do this. Watch the coin literally fall up. A juju. <laughs> Wait, can you do that again? Sure. You didn't get a camera, so let me just. Ah, uh, good, good move. The microphone's in the way. Yeah, yeah this, this. Let me move this out so the yeah, camera can see. Yeah. See so if we can see this. So there's the coin. Yeah. That's his okay, coin, okay, 50p. Okay. Watch it literally just snap, fall up. <laughs> I'll do it again. Make sure the camera just pull it down slightly so we can catch this. Because obviously the hands is quicker than the eyes. So if I go from here, boom, you see how it comes back to here, yeah? What? You following this? You like. <laughs> you know? I got that. I got that. I got uh, okay, okay, watch. So from here, literally back to here, yeah? This time, I'll do this in, in mid air so you lot can all see this. So in mid air, pull this up so you can see in mid air, but invisibly. See how I just squeeze it, go from here, gone completely. And that's how I make my money, bro. Um. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to look in my pockets to make sure, bro. No, yeah, so I'm done, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so those, so you, if anyone wants to find you on social media, what is the best place on format for them to? Uh, I'm check on you Instagram um, at Magical Bones. Um, so check me out at Magical Bones. Um, also on Twitter at Magical Bones and Facebook at Magical Bones. But I'm on the gram, so you know you can watch me and see some of my videos and keep up with the shows up and coming. Thank you for coming after four years of not seeing you, brother. Oh, I know you're gonna. Go. I knew you were gonna cuss me like this, you know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, that's good to say. Good to say, he always wows me, man. From the first time, even to now. Wow, bro, you 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 dropping these, you dropping the real things, man. Still, um, music wise, and I'm glad to always come and and support and be yeah. here. And thank you for having me, man. It's it's, cool, it's man. all love. Gavin got a, Gavin still got a gun in him, and I always stress that. <laughs> This guy, he don't. You know what? You need to be checked, fact checked on that. <laughs> Let me just explain something here. Like Nigerians, we got the biggest black population in the world. We're the biggest migrators, so we migrate across the whole world. Um, and obviously, we're in parts. We're in Togo. We're in Ghana. We're in Brazil, Cuba. Um, so all the Ghanaians, let me just educate you. All you Ghanaians mm -hmm. that have the name Essien, you know, like if you check through history, Essien is actually a Nigerian name. Uh, it's part of the Calabar tribe we travel um so you know we migrate to ghana and you know they we, that's why you have essians in ghana same way you have um adebayo in togo but it's just a nigerian name true um and he speaks yoruba as well so um mm. so ghanaians are like yeah essence ghanaian name is like nah bruh <laughs> it's not well thank you for coming down so man and and the, I know these guys want to take pictures with you, even myself. Let's, let's take some pictures, man. Yeah, man. Get let's, me. Let's, let's do that, man. The home of Simply Good Music. You're locked, You're locked to TGM Radio UK.